So guys, I'm giving you an update as to what's going on currently in my garden. So here I'm checking the eggplant tree and we have some eggplants to harvest. Oh my goodness, something is wrong with this one. The bugs got it. So I'm gonna give you a quick update as to what's going on in my garden. Not much because it's so hot and um, you don't really get a lot of planting stuff in your garden in Florida during the summertime. You have to wait for it to get cool. So let me grab these eggplants and move right along. Now over here I have a plant. I don't know if it's honeydew, if it's melon, watermelon or squash, I mean not squash, honeydew or cantaloupe. But there it is, it's running. So I'm just gonna leave it and let it do its thing. And um, we'll see what, what it is. I'm not certain. It could be cantaloupe. Or maybe not, because I had a cantaloupe plant last year and the leaves did not look like that. It might be honeydew. I'm not certain. But anyway, just wanna show you. Um, Have some corn coming up. I did plant some corn right here. I have some beans coming up. So those are some beans. I think those are the cow, the cow peas beans. Okay. And this, guys, this is my pigeon peas tree. My pigeon peas plant that I planted over here. And it's coming up very nicely. That's another plant of my tree of life. Over here you can see I have some callaloo. I'm going to cut these because I'm going to make an omelet, an egg omelet. And if you let these things stay, if you let the callaloo stay, then the bugs are going to get to it. So I'm going to cut them. Okay. So I got my collar loop because if you let them stay too long, this is what's gonna happen to the leaves. The bugs are gonna come and chew on the leaves. So you have to pick them early. And especially because it's raining. Here, as you can see, that's my collard green plant. I'm not a big fan of collard green, but sometimes we do harvest the collard green and make you know, stir fry. Now over here, I did sow some other seeds. As you can see, I have some more corn coming up. And there goes a sweet potato vine running. There goes my dasheen plant. I have two, actually three dasheen plants over there. Now here goes my papaya. plant and there goes a ripe one so I'm gonna take it off now I had picked one off last week and when I cut it open guys you would not believe there was worms inside my papaya so I'm gonna pick this one off and we're gonna cut it open and we're gonna see if worms is in this one as well okay so guys I don't know if you know but I had a neighbor came by and she said that she wants me to give her one of my papaya leaf. And I said, what do you do with it? She said that she used it to make tea. I've never had it before. I might get curious and try it, but she said, yes, she drinks the papaya leaf as a tea. So you never know, one of these days, your girl Lala might just make a papaya leaf tea. There was another one. And she said that it's very good for you. I can't believe how tall this thing has grown. Wow. So fast. This is my lemongrass. Oh my goodness, the leaves are turning yellow somewhat. I need to cut off the leaves. Oh 
and maybe dry them, put them in a container in the house for tea. I need to do that because, because we, keep, we keep having lots of rain here in Florida. Look at my lemongrass in Jamaica, we say fever grass. Look at the leaves, they have grown so long and they're like bending on the ground. Look at that. I'm gonna cut off the leaves. Look at this, it's like spider all over my garden. Always gotta move them out the way. And I don't like spider webs. I don't like walking spider webs. So here I have my coca plant. Okay, so coco, dasheen, and how you know the difference between the dasheen it has like a little red on the back of the stem right there and right there in the front and the cocoa it's just just pure green no color no other color so that's the cocoa plant and that's the dasheen plant also i don't know if you can see my sweet potato growing back here as well my sweet potato is growing I have some more colored green leaves over here to harvest I don't know maybe I'll just give it to my family like I said I'm not so fond of colored greens but it's very good I make it into many different things soup or just stir fry it or um, you know I've put it in hamlet before Trust me, I made it into an egg omelet before. So guys, I wanna show you this plant. This is a sweet white yam plant, okay? And to be honest, I don't know if it's a wild yam. <laughs> I wanna believe that it's from my kitchen scraps that I've put into my soil that you know has um, taken root and started to grow but there goes looks like to me white yam okay that's white yam so tell me if I'm wrong guys looks like the white yam to me and I know for sure I just put in here my kitchen scraps you know yam peels and orange and limes and all that different things all various things for my guard for my kitchen I have just a few carrots, not much. They're not looking really healthy. I don't know, but I'm leaving them. I'm leaving them on there. And guys, look at this. Two pineapple plants overtaken by, in Jamaica we call them Spanish needles. Okay? I'm sure they have a different name. But I pretty much left it because the bees, they love it. So I just left it alone for the bees to come by and, you know, get their pollen from. Here I have some okra. I have two okra plants. I did plant more, but only two survived. Here, I don't know if you can see it. It's a baby okra coming up. And look at that, guys. It's a bunch of afibs. So I need to get my neem oil. I am for some neem oil spray. So I'm gonna do that maybe tomorrow because it's gonna rain again today. All the way back to the late afternoon. So I'm not gonna do the neem oil today. Otherwise it will just be a waste. The rain is gonna wash it off. See guys, there I tell you. Here goes the bee on the, on the Spanish needle. And that's the reason why I left it there because the bees, they love to come by and get the little pollen in. There goes my ackee tree. My ackee tree is doing well. So my ackee tree, that's it, look at it. Beautiful ackee tree coming up. Took a while for it to grow, but I'm so thankful to God it's growing, finally growing. <laughs> putting out new branches and more leaves. That's my tuna plant. My mango tree. And this mango tree, 
it it is very sweet very very sweet i can't wait to harvest from this thing hopefully next year it put out some fruits and i'm around to get some if god tarries but that thing is very sweet i love the mangoes here goes another tuna fruit and i have another video in which i did harvest one of the tuna fruits and it's okay not as sweet as i expected it to be it was very red deep color red now over here I have some olive plants. I don't know if you can see it. I have some olive plants. So I need to do some weeding out and some, you know, looking after in my olive plant bed. Now guys, just wanna show you. Here I have some onion plants coming up. See, I have some onions. These things are coming from seeds, okay? You see all the grasses, the weeds? We call this in Jamaica water grass. These are like water grass in Jamaica. We call that's what we call them, water grass. Just taken over the bed. Look at this beautiful color, look, guys. Beautiful color, look. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it because I'm gonna make a beautiful Kalu omelette. So I'm gonna cut it right there because I want it to spring more from its side. There's another one, it's not a spot. I'm gonna cut it as well. And now guys, in this bed, I have a couple papaya tree coming up. I might leave one of them to stay and grow. I have the Thomathio plant. You can see the buds are on there, the blossoms. But they're not putting out any fruits. Maybe it's too hot for the Thomathio. But also in this bed, you can see my sweet potato. Wow. The sweet potato has taken over in which I really wanted. That's what I wanted it to do. So my sweet potato took over my bed. I have another Thomathia plant right here. Look at, some. Look at this bed, guys. Sweet potato. Look at this. Sweet potatoes. Look at my meringue plant. It is growing. Look at it. It's going to become a massive tree. See my coconut tree? And here goes my lovely, my lovely guava tree. See? Guava right there. Guava right there. Some more right here, some baby ones. And the guava tree is also growing. Look at that. It's moving. We've been getting lots of rain in Florida. Lots of rain. And guys, you see my sweet sap? My sweet sap tree is growing. And I have one sweet sap on it. One. I had two. But the lawnmowers, when they came by, they disturbed my plant and one of my sweet sops fell off. I was so mad. But you can see, I got one sweet sop on here. And soon it's gonna start opening up in which once it started to change colors and those things get further apart, you know it's ready to be picked so for right now I'm just watching it giving you another view of my sweet potatoes see how they taken over it's taken over the bed 
and this bed is bushy. I think I'm going to get rid of this wildflower plant because this wildflower is like so bushy right now and other weeds has grown into it and it's really bushy. And over here I have some more olive, olive vera plants and need to weed this one out as well. Here is my other um, lemongrass tree or plant and I started to cut and give away. See right here? I started to cut and give away. So I gave some to my co-workers because I alone can't drink off all this lemongrass. And I did cut from here as well last week and it has grown back. You can't even tell that I cut it because I gave roughly what four persons four persons on my job last week and look at it it's as if it was not even cut so still have some more trimming to do on this one look at my mango tree putting out new leaves there goes the big one right there as well putting out new leaves See? putting out new leaves Guys, I'm like beginning to get afraid to come around my own garden. It's too bushy. And this is Florida, as you know. So here I got my mint bed, pine slash pineapple bed. Very wild. And this is my other mint leaves. And it's expected to be like this during the summertime. But then come the winter time, it's going to pick up speed again and get all green and flush. So just have to keep watering this bed so that my mint does not die. Over here I have some ginger. That's a ginger plant right there. And berry, a blackberry plant over there. Some tomato plants. Here goes the wild, it's not wild. It's a heat tolerant tomato plant. I did got some from it, not too much. Oh wow, guys. I saw a hornworm on my tomato plant. So guess what Lala is gonna do? I'm gonna cut him in two. I got my scissors. See, there goes the hornworm. See right there? That's a hornworm, gotta get rid of him. It's gonna do this. Cut him in two, all right? Get rid of him. Because if you leave it, forget it. They will eat down your plant in a matter of days, okay? They'll eat it down, so you have to get rid of them. See this plant right here? My tomato plant and um, sarasa plant all mixed in together. You have to look good to see which is which but it's tomato slash sarsi plant going on right here. And there's one little tomato. It's already changing color. I'm just gonna grab it, because if I leave it, some bug is gonna get to it. But yeah, that's it. It's um, tomato slash sarsi. And the sarsi, they grow so wild here in Florida because the birds, they pretty much what the birds do, they go around and they eat this. Oh. This is the fruit from the Cersei. Okay, that's the fruit. And it's very sweet. You can, you can eat it. You can open it up and suck on the seeds. Just don't swallow the seeds. And so what the birds do, they eat this and they poop out the seeds and the Cersei plant just grow wild all over Florida. Okay? So this plant, let me show you, is a pepper plant. Has a pepper going on right now. There was a pepper, pepper on there. And this plant went through a lot because first there was a hornworm on it that was eating down my leaves. Matter of fact, I had another pepper that was on there too. And the hornworm ate both peppers 
not only that as you can see the space is very narrow and so the landscaping guys they came by and when my um pepper branch was hanging across they did not even care to see where they were going and broke my pepper plant so i'm grateful that at least one pepper is currently on there okay there goes my black pep my blackberry there goes my blackberry there goes my papaya plant in the front and right here guys it's just so bushy from all the rain i really need to clean it up so i'm definitely going to be cleaning up this area it's too bushy looks bad looks very very bad i think because it's summer it's so hot i pretty much just gave up a little bit in the summertime so i need to clean this up make it look all pretty again so guys that's it i'm going to show you my harvest on the inside my mini harvest okay so here's my harvest from today three eggplants a small cherry tomato some purple beans some callaloo and a papaya so guys like i said i'm not certain about this papaya because last week i've picked one that was ripe but it had worms inside and those spots i don't know so, wow look at that there's a hole so that tell that tells me that there is a worm inside see there goes there's a hole right there so I'm gonna cut it open to see what we get. Maybe I just have to bury it back into the garden. Let's see. Guys, oh my goodness, not again. Just like I've expected, because there was a hole on the outside of my papaya. See, worms. Worms, taken over my papaya. What you think I should do with it? Should I just cut off the part that is good and eat it? Or should I just throw out the whole thing? Unbelievable. These worms, I'm telling you, they're, they're just, oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to go out there and touch my papaya tree and pray for it, okay? This is the second papaya I've harvested from the garden, which has worms in it. This is not nice. This is crazy. So guys, look at my harvest. My harvest has reduced by one papaya to a half papaya. <laughs> because the worms they got in there, I guess the papaya is sweet, I'm not even certain. I don't even know if I wanna taste the papaya because the worms been in there. Well, they were at the very bottom of the papaya, but still, um, kind of creeps me out to taste it. But I will, because this part of the papaya is okay. So I guess the papaya is sweet. This is my second papaya. The worms have attacked. So now I have to make certain that once my papaya changes color just a little bit, go ahead, take it off the tree, because the worms, they're coming, and I have to get to my papaya before the worms do, okay? So guys, if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and tell me if you have some solution for me, if you have a solution for me for my papaya tree, and um, you know, that can help me prevent the worms from entering my papayas. So, thank you guys for sticking around watching this video. It's your girl Lala. If you have not already, go ahead, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below thank you guys for watching bye